Today, I encourage you to focus on the fact that encouragement leads to success and it can speed up success. So are you a business leader who brings out the best in your team by encouraging them towards success? Hello, Kayleen Martin, founder of Ripple Recruitment, talent agent, recruitment specialist and employee experience analyst. Encouragement has been described as verbal sunshine. It is a powerful management tool that uh, too many leaders, I fear, fail to practice. When practiced, it will give your team an edge and vibrancy and it will deliver increased productivity. So the definition of encouragement is the action of giving someone support, confidence or hope. If you are a leader of any description, and most of us are in some form, whether it be at home, on the sports field, in your community or in the workplace, think about a time that someone gave you encouragement. How did that feel and what success did you experience because of it? Then think about who you can encourage, how you may be able to do this and the possible success story you may witness as a result. Encouragement is different to praise. Um, praise is the expression of approval or admiration. Research shows us that whilst praise can be great, it also builds a dependency on external acceptance whilst encouragement, on the other hand, focuses on internal validation. The risk of using praise over encouragement is that it is short-lived. Once it is given, it is over, and it does develop a sense of dependence. Encouragement, on the other hand, goes deeper, and the results are perpetual. The other major risk is uh, with putting praise over encouragement is that praise encourages people to take less risks by choosing the easy road and the easier tasks so as not to risk failure. Whereas encouragement stimulates innovation, advancement and growth. It enables courage, which is the ability to do something that is frightening. I uh, believe both are important management tools uh, when used in balance, and I would be inclined to recommend a 70-30 split in favour of encouragement. Now we need to look at how to deliver encouragement. If you're familiar with the five love languages, you will understand the concept that there is more than one way to deliver a message to someone, so it is received in fullness and favourably. Delivering encouragement is no different, and it starts with understanding how each of your team players would like to receive theirs. As you know, there are four different personality types, and each type and combination of these types have their own preferred communication styles. Ripple Recruitment, as again you may know, uh, subscribes to the Alison Mooney types and here is an insight into what encouragement may look like uh, for each of these in the workplace. So the basic needs of a playful type is to have fun. So they may like to be encouraged through team participation and success. The powerful type needs to have control and encouragement to them may be career advancement opportunities. The precise type likes to get things right and encouragement to them may be the provision of a quiet workplace to get the job done with precision. And the peaceful literally, literally requires a peaceful workplace and encouragement to them may be regular performance assessments so they can remain connected and receive genuine recognition of their contribution. To gather this information, Open a dialogue with each individual in your team and discuss their needs and how you may be able to deliver on these. Some will need less encouragement than others and some will need repeated encouragement before this type of communication really gets traction with them. Once you have this information, act on it, be genuine and be consistent with your delivery and check in with your team from time to time. This will ensure it is working or 
enable you to identify a tweak that's required here and there. I hope I have managed to offer you another effective leadership tool and I wish you well in practicing it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Stay safe.